Hi. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing video. And I'm sure, as you can tell, this video is going to be a Glock review. Um, this is just going to be the unboxing video. I'm not going to be doing any, you know, shooting or anything. When I do the shooting, I'll be more in-depth of the gun itself. But this, this is just a unboxing. So if you guys are looking to buy a Glock 23 Gen 4, this is what will come in the box. So we turn it around. You have two clips that's holding it together. Unpop those. You have a plastic case. The clips are plastic. This is a plastic case. You open it up. You have, on the very top, you have a padding. Uh, I'm not sure what the padding is called, but the padding with bunches of bumps in it, which keeps the gun really in place, I like that. You have the very top up here, pull it out. You have this, this is a tool. This is to clean your Glock. So you have that, as you can see right here, there is a hoe for the cleaning tools to come. You also get a cleaning tool in the kit. I'm trying to get this out really easy. Well, hang on, I'll take the block first. And we're gonna move the block over here. We're gonna, you know, be able to try not to mess anything up is why I'm doing it so easy. You get a, I guess, wire brush for cleaning the Glock. So all you do, you know, you take it and screw it in right there and then down the barrel of it, you get one extra mag that shoots 15 rounds, holds 15 rounds. You get the, well, you get the black tip with the Gen 4. So we set it over to the side. You get a, a bullet, I guess is what you call this, a bullet feeder, magazine feeder, which I really enjoy. I've never had one of these before. Comes with a rough textured grip, like that. You know, you just slide it over top, and or if I guess put the bullet down in it, and then just push down. Not really for sure, I've never used one before. So you get two extra mags. Very nice. You get some back uh, plate, I guess, spaces or whatever you call it. That way you can get uh, the dovetail, you know, so you can put it on the back if you don't like the ones that's already on it. You have two extra to choose from, so that's super cool. You also get in the kit, you get a gun lock, standard just orange gun lock for child safety or safety in general. Then you get, you know, an owner's manual of doing it. Right here is the owner manual, down in the bottom, as you can see. You get the owner's manual and you get some warnings down in here, and that's just under the thing. Um, it's a very tight fit, though. With this gun, though, put it in there, it was kind of hard to close it. There's still a gap, because I bought another one. Uh, it sealed completely around it. This one does not. There's kind of a gap. Here's the gun. It is a Gen 4, as you can see right there, Glock. 20. So my bad, I said 23. This is the 20. It's a 10 millimeter. And it comes with a mag as well. So it has three mags. It's got a big mag release. That double action trigger, Glock's got. Uh, it does not have the double sided uh, slide release. Only on the one side, right here. It has double sided uh, slide release. So if you need a slide to completely come off, you have that. You have rails for anything you want. It does not have the, I guess, amid, whatever you call it, that goes where you can add um, sights. It does not have that. Um, as you can see, it is still brand new. Never never racked it back to break this. Um, what else about it? It has, like I said, right here's the, you know, the slide release, and then here's the slide to completely break it down to clean it. Um, I like the, the texture of it is a kind of a just a button texture, I guess is what you call it. You know, just little dots all the way around, just little dots. It has the finger grooves, and a lot of people are like. I am a fan of it. You know, I really kind of do like it. You know, so you got fingers, all of them go here. You know, I mean, it, the fingers are kind of nice to have. So there's that. Um, here's the full gun. You know, uh, it's kind of a bigger gun. I mean, it's got a long slide. It's got a longer hand, but I mean, it really fits fairly well, and it feels like a, it's a gun. I mean, it's a really, you know, nice feeling gun. It's not, you know, this one, it's not too heavy. I think I've held another one that felt heavier than this, and this one, or maybe I've gotten older and stronger, and maybe it feels different um, now, so if you want to do it, I mean, look, 
I mean, your finger, my finger, you know, I've got, I think, small hands. You know, I didn't want to tend because everybody said it was bigger. So, I mean, my hand, you want to release the mag, I mean, you push it, and it, it comes out, I mean, every time. I mean, I've never, I mean, I've only, this is the first time I've uh, done it, but uh, I've done it at the uh, store when I was purchasing it. And, I mean, you know, my finger always hit it. I've had some that I've tried, and you have to really stretch to get it. Um, this one is a perfect, you know, my finger even goes over it a little bit. And this is a 10 millimeter, so that's really nice to have that, you know, smaller hand people can also reach it fairly well. So, you know, my finger goes, my thumb is at the start of the trigger. If that gives you guys any idea, here's the third magazine that comes with it. So you get 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus one. So that's, I mean, what, 45, 15, 30, yeah, 45, 46 rounds. It's pretty good, you know, and you slide it in, and it always, you know, I mean, it does, I love, you know, just, I don't know, I love the sound of it. Um, on the bottom, I don't really know what that's for. I don't know if that's, I don't know what that's for, honestly. Um, that though, I guess you could hide stuff there. I'm not for sure. Um, but here, here's the gun itself. Here's a Glock Gen 4 20. It is made in Austria. It is a 10 millimeter. Very nice. Uh, it does not have the... As you see back here, it's got the grooves. It does not have the grooves in the back. So that's something, you know, a lot of people may not like. But usually when I do it, I mean, I pull back here or, in, you know, kind of, yeah, I pull back here or kind of really, yeah, I don't know many people pull up here. I pull here, so I'm not really too worried about not having the extra grooves up here. Um, it's got the Glock sights. Everybody hates on them. I, I don't really care. I mean, I like them. I think that they're really, I mean, I, mean, I don't know if I can there i mean you can see i mean i don't know really what the issue is but i did have a hellcat i held i did like the top sight i liked that it, it kind of was like this but it had like a nighttime sight or something up here i did like that um but other than that i mean here's the left side of it as you can see here's the right side of it i like it you know like i said i had small hands i had doubts on the 10 millimeter and now i mean it's a gun i like i've got a case for it i've already put it in the case to see how it feels I like it. It feels good in the case. It, uh, I mean, it's not like I thought it would be. I've never, I ain't put any uh, ammo in it yet, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to tell you, you know, when I shoot it, I'm going to say if it's any really uncomfortable with ammo or if it doesn't make any difference. Um, so there's that. On this, I'm not for sure. As you can see, I don't know if you, I don't know if that was, no. I think I've seen some where the mag release is on both sides, I think. But I do believe this is reversible is what that is. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can reverse this, uh, the dual action triggers right there. So I guess that's its safety since Glock doesn't have safeties. Um, you know, you pull it in and then the trigger's gonna go. But I mean, like I said, here's here's my hand holding it. As you can see, you know, I can put my finger here and really grab a hold of it. Here it is. I mean, I think I have smaller hands. I do. Um, there's very few guns, you know, that really fit. You know, there's some of them that's too small, but you know, this is 10 millimeter. And for me, I think I got small hands, and it fits fairly well in my hands. But here soon, though, I'm going to break this off. I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to break this off, and we're going to do a video of shooting it and seeing how much recoil a 10 millimeter has. You know, I'm 5'8", 130 pounds, you know. So let's see if this is going to be too much for the average, you know, person or, you know, below average. Um, but here it is, you know. You got the Glock itself. Three mags, a back strap, cleaning for it. It comes in the case. You get a mag feeder, I guess you'd call it. And then you also get a gun lock orange. Um, super nice. I like it. And then in the box, you actually get the warnings down here on the bottom of it. Down, um, slide this up. Down here, you get a warning and a book. I um, think it's a book that tells you about it or how to clean it. I'm not for sure. I've never took it out. Um, but that's it. That is for the Glock 20 Gen 4.